These people thought they could finally breathe. You think their struggles end because the PACT Act passes? All it means is they don't have to decide between their cancer drugs and their house. This is an embarrassment to the Senate, to the country, to the founders, and all that they profess to hold dear. And if this is America first, then America is Comedian and activist John Stewart last week after Republican senators blocked a bipartisan bill to provide millions of veterans exposed to toxic burn pits with expedited health care and disability payments. John Stewart has been a fierce advocate for the legislation, and he joins us now. Uh, so, so, John, let's just start with a reminder here. Uh, how many veterans have been exposed to this kind of toxic exposure and need this help? So this is 3.5 million veterans that fought in Iraq and Afghanistan in the burn pits. But the PACT Act also includes veterans all the way back to Vietnam. That's how bad we are at treating toxic exposure wounds for the men and women who fight for this country. There are still literally Vietnam veterans who are appealing to the government for help for their exposures to Agent Orange. This, this bill helps millions of veterans who are in dire need. Look, look, Senate Republicans voted for this just a month ago, now voted against it. Uh, put that aside for a second. Let's look at the reason they're saying now. They say uh, that they, they want this spending to be discretionary spending, not mandatory spe spending. That's Washington speak for saying that it has to be voted on every year. They want a, a vote on that amendment. Are you OK with them getting a vote on that amendment? Would you still uh, favor this sure. bill, even, even if that amendment passed? Sure. Vote on the, absolutely. I absolutely vote on the amendment. Bring the amendment to the floor. Uh, give it the same threshold that the veterans had to clear, which is the Senate threshold of 60, because it's Senate math, not real life math. Give them the threshold. Give them the amendment. By the way, John, the Toomey Amendment doesn't change it from mandatory to discretionary. It's still mandatory. The Toomey Amendment is really about capping the fund. It's about putting caps on it and giving it a sunset clause for 10 years. Now, we've been through this with the 9-11 first responders. What Toomey's amendment wants to do is make sure that our sick and dying veterans have the pleasure that our 9-11 first responders at Ground Zero had of having to come back to Washington hat in hand, riddled with cancer, and march through the halls of the Hill begging for money every year. Do they you, want them to have that player. It caps. But Toomey's amendment, it's still mandatory. There's been no change. So do you expect this will get resolved this week? Oh, I have, I have no idea. I mean, the whole thing has been, this is so bananas, nothing changed. So I don't understand any of this. I have heard you say, or say that you have thought in the past, you had given consideration of running for office. I think I have that correct. And, and... I, you know, look, we, we've had a, we've had some precedent now. There's a, there's a guy in Ukraine uh, who is a comedian who had a, a very popular show uh, uh, who is now uh, a president of Ukraine. Some people think he's a, he's a very good president. Uh, is there any chance you run for office? I mean, you know, any office at all? There, there's a chance that when I go down, I'm going to come back down there to Washington. Yeah. And I'm going to join my brothers and sisters on the Capitol steps who have been sleeping out on Firewatch, Rosie Torres of Burn Pits 360, Tim Jensen of Grunt Style, and anyone else who wants to go down there and join them on the Capitol steps. And I will join them and we will stay there until the United States government does the right thing by the men and women who fought to protect it. That's right. what I'm after. All right, John Stewart, thanks a lot for joining us. Thanks so much, John. I really appreciate it. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.